Hi everyone, welcome to my floss tube channel, Thread the Needle. My name is Vani and we are here to celebrate Vlogmas Day 13. We're going to start off as always with my coffee advent and today's flavor is Heavenly Hazelnut. <coughs> I had something... We're good. Okay. That is heavenly just as described. A wonderful cup of coffee. Wonderful. Then we move on to my wax melt from last year's advent calendar and today's smell was pumpkin pumpkin pie. Um, I'm not a huge fan of pumpkin, the flavor. Uh, I don't mind the smell because you know with pumpkin and spices it's it's it smells nice. Um, so I don't mind smelling it. Not a fan of eating or drinking it. It's, but I don't know if it's a Christmassy smell. It's more of a fall smell. Um, but I'll take it. I like anything that smells really nice. And then we're gonna move on to talk about the cross stitch advent calendar from this year. Um, you would have seen my video at the beginning of today's video, and uh, we are moving on to clue number day thirteen. Here's where we are. It's quite adorable, I have to say. Add a little, little bit more red. Things are starting to take shape. So, let's see. Last night, the project that I was stitching on was Enchanted Garden. It has been a long time since that project came in my rotation. Um, quite a long time actually so it was really nice to pick it back up again and the method challenge that I was given was I had to start um, stitching on the symbol with the least number of stitches left on my project and I use pattern keeper so it easily I can easily tell which symbol has the least number of stitches and that really helped last night's project Enchanted Garden because it allowed me to get rid of the colors that had the least number of stitches and I worked really fast. I don't know if this was a good method. And also they're small pages. It's not like a regular size page. So I was able to quickly make my way through my colors. Um, I'm going to put a screenshot here of how many colors I was able to finish last night. And here's where we are. I filled in a lot on the edges, filled in bits and pieces of her skirt. And I cannot wait. I'm going to guarantee you guys, you heard it here first. This is going to be my first finish in 2024. I'm making a promise to myself because come on. Last night I finished 295 stitches. So it is totally doable. Like, and I, I, I would have stitched maybe a couple of hours. It was very easy stitching. So I don't know why the held up was this should have been finished this year. I'm disappointed in myself, but it's going to be my first finish in 2024. Now the challenge, sorry, the project that I'm going to stitch on tonight is mini moose crossing. Now the last time it got selected, the jar told me the jar of challenges told me that I was supposed to take a break and just hang out and watch a Christmas movie. Shall we see if I actually get to stitch on mini moose crossing tonight? If it happens again, I swear I'm not, I'm not, this is totally random. This could be cool. It says start a new page. Doesn't say what method I have to start it in. So I might just do a little bit of cross country into a few diagonals because it's always a corner. You always start off in a triangle until you get a decent length of a diagonal. Start a new page on mini moose crossing. I'm going to enjoy this one. It'll take me to a new area and I think it's going to be lovely. Now the question is, do I start a new page across the project? So to that way, or do I go down from the current page? Cause I'm only on page number one. So I've got lots of options and there you have it. So lastly, I'm going to share my gift exchange from my uh, knitting group. And this is the one that I chose. Shall we see what's inside? Very, very well packaged. I have a feeling it's a book. My goodness, where did they get this tape? Oh, 
I'm not joking. I really like it. It's it's really nice. Okay, now we get to the book part. It's an adult coloring book. Zen doodle coloring. You can't see anything when I'm flipping through that. It's just beautiful. Look, do you know what it's called? Enchanting gardens. It's meant to be, meant to be. Oh, fun. Coloring was one of my favorite hobbies when I was younger. Very, very cool. Oh, and look, it's like perforated. So after you finish one, you can like snip it out and I don't know, hang it up somewhere. Maybe I'll put it in my office. Ooh, this one's pretty. They're all very pretty. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to whichever friend of mine gave it to me. I'm going to enjoy that. It's absolutely lovely. Thank you for joining me here again tonight. Um, it's always so lovely to just take a few moments out of my day and come and hang out with you all and just tell you what's going on. Happy holidays. See you tomorrow. Bye.